Welcome to video four in this webinar series for the Yavapai Apache Nation's new environmental code presented by the Environmental Department. In this video, we'll be going over Title III, the Environmental Review of the Code. What is the Environmental Review? Well, if you're planning on initiating activities that could potentially affect the environment, an environmental review is required beforehand. The environmental review is the process of reviewing a project and its potential environmental impacts to determine whether it meets the federal, state, and local environmental standards. You'll need an environmental review if you're planning a development footprint that's more than 400 square feet. You'll need one for mining, grazing, or developing within the Verde River Riparian Corridor, or if you're planning a permanent road or modification to a permanent road construction. You'll also need an environmental review for any proposed new commercial agricultural activities, such as commercial livestock, and for developments that could impact cultural resources, like a structure or building that's significant to the nation. There are only two exemptions for the environmental review, the first being in the event of an emergency situation declared by the nation. Construction and other developments that are directly related to the emergency situation shall be exempted from this title, except that to be declared a permanent structure after the emergency situation is over. They will be reviewed after the fact and be subject to the conditions, removal, and or restoration following the environmental review. Traditional uses and practices shall also be exempt from any requirements under this title. If you are needing an environmental review, you will have access to the initial screening form and an environmental checklist or any forms pertaining to an environmental review. All forms will be publicly accessible to all applicants. Just like the permit application process, anyone else other than the nation who is planning a development on the reservation must complete the nation's initial screening form and return it to the environmental department who will then give you a response in writing within 10 working days. If you're unsure if you need to do an initial screening process for your activity, you can request clarification from the environmental department in writing. If your proposed development has impacts to the environment that are significant enough to need further analysis, you will need to complete the nation's environmental checklist. It's your responsibility to accurately and fully provide the information called for by the environmental checklist to the environmental department. The environmental department may also provide input or comments from any nation department or from any federal, state, or local government agency that has jurisdiction by law or special expertise with respect to any potential environmental impacts your development or activity might have. The environmental department will take no more than 30 business days following receipt of a completed environmental checklist, which includes any requested supplemental information under Title III, to conduct its analysis of impacts and provide a written determination of the proposed development's impact to the applicant, the Attorney General's office, and the Tribal Council. Once the Environmental Department has received your checklist, an analysis of potential impacts of your development will be determined as one of the following determinations. Determination of no significant impact means there are no significant adverse environmental impacts to the reservation. Determination of mitigated significant impact means that the Environmental Department finds that mitigation measures are required to reduce the proposed development's impact on the reservation below the threshold of significant adverse impacts. The other possible written determination you could receive is a determination of significant impact, which means the Environmental Department has identified one or more of the following conditions in the course of its review. Absent or insufficient information to perform a rigorous analysis of the potential environmental impacts or potential for significant adverse impacts that cannot be mitigated. Applicants having any issues with the written determinations can work with the Environmental Department and any other relevant departments to address those issues. Thanks for watching video 4. We're going to cover more of the Environmental Code in the next video to give you a better understanding. You're also welcome to review the Environmental Code 
by visiting yavapayapache.org website. You'll find it under Tribal Codes, labeled as Yavapayapache Nation Environmental Code. Take care.